you gotta go see yourself there. <laughs> yeah. And we exactly the clear though. I know it's like because I'm like, I know it's not done, you know? But taking it over there because uh, the customer, they don't see the finished product, you know? What's going on, guys? It's your boy out here, Boom Boom Tisk. Thanks for tuning in. We are back here on the block again, getting some work done. But this time we are working on my EK Civic. So basically what's going on here is I'm doing a little bit of track prep. Um, I'm not gonna probably record everything that I do per se, but I will try to run it back with you guys and just kind of let you know what's been going on, give you guys a little piece by piece updates and maybe even get some videos of the track date on here. I'm not sure if it's gonna be two separate videos just yet, track prep and track date, but we'll see. So it might be two separate videos, it might be one. We will find out. Anyway, so what's going on here is I got the EK Civic. I am getting it ready for a Togate 2 track event that is next month in May 21st. Anyways, that's what we're doing. A um, couple things going on right now. Uh, it's been a windy day out here, so I've been trying to make sure this canopy doesn't blow away. But here's the Civic. As you can see, it is all jacked up. But as you can see right here, it's got drum brakes in the rear. And what we are doing is a rear disc brake conversion. So bada beam, bada boom, there it is. I actually just got one side done. I just got to hook up the e-brake cable. I also went ahead and did a Goodridge stainless steel brake lines. So that way, you know, just get a little bit of better, better pedal feel for the track, you know? And just to try, there it is, there it is. And also to try to keep the brake lines from flexing when they get hot, because um, as you guys already know, especially anybody here who's uh, done any track events or just, uh, you know, hard driving, the brake lines can start to flex after the fluid gets hot, and then that uh, will um, decrease your pedal feel, or at least how good it is. But actually, and then you can see right here, these rotors, they've been sitting out for quite some time, so they're going to need to get uh, broken in. I'm gonna try to drive it, see how much it cleans up, and if anything, maybe do a quick rotor and pad swap before the track day. Looks like we still got some pad left on there, so we're good for now. So that's on, one side is done here. Um, the last thing I'll have to do is put the e-brake cable on. Um, this kid actually, I picked it up from a pretty good friend of mine, Tommy. I will link his video because he's actually done this rear disc brake conversion before. And um, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail about what it is, but as you can see here, the drums have been removed. And so that's that. I'm gonna get back to work on this thing. I got a little bit of daylight left in my, and so time is kind of ticking. So anyways, we are going to finish this up. I'm actually going to do the front lines as well. Um, somewhere right here, are these fronts ones? Yes, these are the fronts. It's pretty cool. They actually went ahead and labeled them. So that's nice, that really helps. But yeah, so I'm gonna bang this out and then uh, hopefully get the e-brake cables um, all hooked up in there. And then um, I'm gonna do the front lines as well, put those up in there. Bleed it all with uh, new brake fluid. I'm going with the Motul. This is my brake fluid right here. Motul, uh, it's gonna be DOT4 racing brake fluid because you know, it's a freaking race car. So anyways, um, let's get back to work and I will keep you guys updated. All right, so we're on the driver's side. We got the e-brake cable pulled down brake line pulled off and this is right before I go and put the, the disc brakes over it so it's a pretty cool kit um, it's got this brace right here or this little bracket and you basically do you take the drums off um, you take the hub off and then you after that you slide this bracket into place here put the hub back on and then you can put the disc brakes on and right here is where the this is where the brackets gonna go so I gotta say this is a pretty neat kit I'm actually able to reuse the stock trailing arms. These are to the totally stock trailing arms. So yeah, so far so good. Another side here done. Um, hopefully when I drive it, some of this surface rust will clear off. If it doesn't, then I'll probably do new rotors and pads anyways. Uh, but the next thing here is gonna be trying to bang out these e-brake cables, which I really don't look forward to doing. But um, let's see here. Here, basically, just have to follow them all to the part of the car where the, the lever is. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna see if I can fit on today and make that happen. Um, but for now, 
we're gonna celebrate this small victory and keep going. Okay, so so we're on we're on day two right now working on the Civic. I got the uh, rear disc brake conversion in and now I'm just working on putting the e-brake cables in so hopefully today what I'm gonna knock out is get these cables in and um, maybe even start bleeding the brakes I'm also well before I do that obviously I'm gonna do the front brake lines do the stainless steel uh, braided brake lines up in the front as well but um, yeah so let me go ahead and show you guys what's going on here as far as the e-brake cable goes let's put that right there the car is jacked up yeah and um, here's the e-brake cable that I'm removing uh, obviously we all know it goes back towards the rear trailing arm and the brakes but uh, so far what I did to get under here I took off this plastic cover and this plastic cover was uh, like right here this this and these points this cover was covering that part right there and I also took down this heat shield I was able to have a little bit of space after that. And then I had pulled this out. So this is how the cable is loose now. We actually are getting one cable out here. And then um, let me go ahead and actually show you guys what it looks like inside too. Okay, so. No way. Yeah, just uh, chipped the bottom of the paint. Yeah. So yeah, we're not doing that again. But anyways. Uh, look inside here and you'll see this is where the cable went so I had to take off this cover right here um, there's just two screws on the side and it basically slides right back out but yeah so we're gonna pull the other cable out here as well and then the fun part is gonna be trying to route those new cables under the carpet and back into that spot and then it looks like here there's also some adjustment as well so maybe we'll need to play around with that as well damn dude I can't believe I just did Here's uh, the cable. This is the one I just pulled out of the car. And so this right here, as you can see, is the same. I believe these cables were out of a 99-2000 Civic Si EM1. That was a model with rear disc brakes. So it's the same length as what um, I would need for my car, as far as being Civic goes. But it's gonna be for disc brakes. And uh, this is the back side the part that goes into the drum on my car on the uh, cx dx anything with the uh drum brake in the rear Damn, it was here. <laughs> but um yeah so that's that's the difference in the connector that's why you wouldn't be able to reuse your old ones plus these were actually a little bit shorter um it seems like it's a little too short to even reach the the part that it has to go on to for the new disc brakes so let's go ahead and uh, pull the other cable off and we will get those ones in yeah we got one of the cables pretty much in here and as you can see it, all these brackets they're all in the oem spots and it looks really good Routes into there that's that's the new one just the old one and so another thing too, keep in mind, they are directional. Um, the other side, these are like opposite oriented. So uh, do take note of that when you're putting the new ones in, that you don't put the left side and the right side, yada yada. But um, we're gonna go ahead and get started on the passenger side. side one cable in so you can see right here the cable going to this this part of the caliper bracket right here right, a caliper right here uh, a little pin goes through 
cotter pin to keep it in place. Got another one of these clips right here. And it's all routed, so that's one side. We're gonna go ahead and get the other side in, and then we'll hop back inside the car and we'll do the lever. The driver's side cable is in. Both sides are looking good as far as wheel clearance goes from the cable. Not touching anything. And now it's time to see if we have e-brakes. It's not too good. Okay. That's in. Let's go over here. Spin. Okay. Spin. Right. Well, we have mechanical brakes. Next thing to do will be to get some hydraulic brakes. It's feeling pretty good. So I'm gonna get started on the front brake lines. And then we are running the brake fluid in there, that DOT4 modal brake fluid. And that's pretty much it as far as brakes goes. The next thing to do, I have a couple of parts I'm waiting for to come back. A couple of parts. But um, we're gonna finish up the brakes today. It's a good thing. We got the front uh, stainless steel braided brake hose on. I'm just checking for clearance to make sure that the hose, the way it's routed, uh, has enough um, not enough slack when you pull it uh, left or right. I'll also need to put the wheel on too, make sure that we're not having any rubbing issues. But so far, that's looking pretty good. Dang, he's nice. Uh, feels good to get nice parts, man. I'll say that. But And then everything fits pretty good, too. Um, no problem putting it on here. This is even there, so you can put the put it onto the stock bracket. Um, these are EX brake calipers. And uh, actually, the whole spindle is from an EX, as well as the front sway bar. Just a little side note. So they are a little bit bigger. Uh, bigger rotors, that kind of thing. But yeah, so far so good. Actually, this um, this brake line kit, I ordered it for a uh, Civic Si EM1 99-2000 Civic Si. And so that way I could get the, the rear brake lines as well. But um, anyways, I'm gonna finish this up, um, get the other side going, and after that, we'll just have to bleed the whole thing. Which should be very fun. I did actually have to reroute that brake hose because I was going to run into issues with the wheel clearance it would have started rubbing so to prevent that it's now routed this way instead so it's not looping around the spindle anymore or going behind it but uh, let me just pull the wheel off so you can see it better okay and that's what I mean so we are in here routing towards the front not looping around the spindle, uh, bolting in there, and of course there. And that looks like it'll work just fine. We're not rubbing against the axle as well. Kind of touches against the pitchfork here, but that's not moving or anything, so I'm not too worried about all that. Okay, all right, let's finish this up and then get cracking on the other side. I think it's time to break. Well, actually, Take a break. I'm gonna eat that. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 